Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Spot Report for this sixth day of March 2017. One of the truths that uh, both Christianity and Judaism anticipates, eagerly anticipates, looks forward to, is the coming of the Messiah. Now for Christians we believe that's the return of Jesus, uh, our Messiah. Jews have yet to affirm that. But um, there, is, there are several conditions actually that have to take place before the Messiah comes, either for uh, Jews or for Christians, before Messiah returns, for Christians certainly. And one of these is the most visible, that is the most visible, is given to us in Matthew chapter 23, actually the closing verse. In chapter 23, we find the harshest condemnation, the harshest words uh, of Jesus are against the religious leaders. Woe to you teachers of the law, you Pharisees, you hypocrites. Several times during that chapter he says that with regard to uh, the, the uh, Jewish leaders. He says in verse 37, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and stone those sent to you, how often I have longed to gather your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her, her wings, but you were not willing. Look at your house. It's left to you desolate. As a matter of fact, there is no house of worship. The temple doesn't exist. We believe that that's another condition that will take place uh, hopefully shortly. But then he says this, and this is critical. This is a necessary prerequisite for the Messiah to come. Verse 39, Jesus said, I tell you, uh, I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, and the English is, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Now this is a quotation from Psalm 118, verse 26, uh, which says in English there, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. But in Hebrew, the correct name is mentioned, and it's Yahweh. Blessed is he who comes in the name of Yahweh, not Hashem, not Adonai, not the Lord. Um, the, the rabbis have forbidden the use of Yahweh, saying it's uh, too holy, it must be reverence. You can be using the Lord's name in vain if you do that. But just uh, incidentally, whenever you see L-O-R-D in capital letters in the Old Testament, that refers to Yahweh. And that's the name that he will be known for through eternity. That's his memorial name. And Jesus said, and I'm quoting once again from Matthew chapter 23, verse 39. Jesus said to the religious leaders, incidentally, once again, Baruch haba b'shem Yahweh. And in so doing, Jesus is identifying himself with Yahweh. He's identifying himself as the earthly, fleshly manifestation of Yahweh. And that is yet to come. And that must take place before Jesus returns, before the Messiah comes. Whether you're Jew or a Christian, that must take place. And it will take place. The scriptures indicate in Matthew chapter or Malachi chapter 1, verse 11, from the rising of the sun to the place where it sets, the name of Yahweh will be great among the nations, among the Gentiles. So let's pray to that end. Pray that not only Jews, but Christians as well would be beginning, certainly, to acknowledge that Yahweh is manifested in Yeshua, Jesus our Messiah. Till next week, Od Ki Yavo Shilo, or until Messiah comes, Yavareka Yahweh. Yahweh bless you, bless those you love, bless those who love you.